hi everybody this is Angie also known as the light welcome to my channel please subscribe please stop what you're doing like this video like this video like this video um, if you'd like to make a conversation booking with me you can do so if you feel you aren't getting through with your therapist and you need someone to help you heal from narcissistic abuse I'm your girl you make your payment first through my Zelle, through my Cash App, through my PayPal. Um, $15 for 30 minutes, $30 for one hour. And once you do so, leave your email so I can email you and we can book um, a time and a day for us to talk. Okay? I use an app to call you if you are overseas. You're not. I'm in the United States. That's fine. Just make sure you download the WhatsApp app, okay? Thank you to everybody who has booked in the past. If you have had a conversation with me and you were satisfied, please leave it in the comment section so others may know because I do not have a website. Um, so today, oh yes, if you want to make a love donation to me, you can do so. The more bookings I get, the more love donations I get, the more you're going to see me on YouTube. Um, I've been doing this for almost six years, so um, it's more of when I'm compensated for my energy and my information, that is when I will continue to make more videos. I can't continue to do videos for 10, 20 years and I'm not being compensated for it. And it's fine because there's plenty of free information about narcissism on YouTube um, from me and from other um, channels as well. But as far as me, I got to be compensated for my energy, okay? Um, anyway, actually, I just came from a date. <laughs> That's why I look a little cute. Um, but um, it actually went well. It actually went well. Some of you don't know, I, I'm not with the person I was with, that I was dating. We're still good friends. We ended on good terms. So now I'm back in the dating game, you know, going on dates again. Um, don't ask me what happened. <laughs> no, they're not a narcissist or anything like that. But um, we just have two different views of what our future should be concerning marriage and children. And we decided to go separate ways, pretty much. But anyway, speaking of love, I want to talk to you how I feel narcissism, growing up, growing up around narcissism, made me masculine. And some of you are going to be like, you masculine okay yes me masculine i've always i'm not gonna say always but i think i've always um not always but i've for a long time gave off a feminine aura on the physical but i feel my physical i mean my spiritual my energy gave off masculinity and I do feel because of the trauma that I experienced with my fathers, um, you know, one being, I guess, who had narcissistic qualities and the other one damn near being a sociopath, a narcissistic sociopath, I feel that is the reason why I became masculine myself and a lot of people a lot of women especially who grew up in homes where they suffer with narcissistic abuse I think they can either become pushover women um or they become extremely aggressive and masculine and it's hard to love them let's keep it real some of you are probably thinking to yourselves damn that's me I'm like that and I believe I was like that for a long time. And I actually was having a conversation with an ex-lover <laughs> this week. And that's what made me decide to come on um, YouTube and talk about this, basically. Um, it took me a while to get into my feminine energy because I had to heal my feminine side. So when you're dealing with childhood trauma ladies in men um men you too sometimes when you've been violated as a child so my narcissistic stepfather molested me when i was a little girl in the form of touching right so when you look up to this man or this woman 
who is supposed to protect you and they violated your body. They violated your privacy. Um, you will look at that person like, oh, I, I can't trust you. So in, in that form, what happened to me is as I got older, I did not trust men. In my head, I'm like, oh, you know, if my father molested me, how can I trust men? Why would I even want a man? There was a time where I didn't even respect men. And that that trickles into me growing up and the choices of men that I chose. Every man that I dated in the past were narcissistic, abusive, sociopath, whatever. They had some type of mental or spiritual illness going on with them. Um, because I was literally dating my fathers, you get it? You end up dating the same version of the narcissistic parent that you had. Sorry, I'm eating these um, chocolate-covered blueberries. <laughs> They're so good. Oh my gosh, you gotta try them. So, when I was young, I came off masculine. And I didn't even know it. So here I was. Claiming to be this alpha female. Or giving off alpha female. Um, tendencies. But I've always been attracted to alpha men. Ain't no alpha man going to want an alpha woman. It's very rare. Most alpha men. Are attracted to soft feminine women. So for many years I'm going thing I can attract the alpha man with my looks but I can't keep him and when I was having that conversation with an ex-lover he said to me I always felt that you were someone who you wouldn't listen to me and I'm like I wouldn't listen he said no I'm an alpha man and alpha men they want to lead they want to lead in their masculinity how could I have led you in, in my masculinity if you were in your masculinity yourself? And I'm like, oh, that makes sense. So I explained to him, it's not that I wanted to be a man. It's not that I wanted to be a, a, a leader in the relationship. Or how can I say, overthrow your position as a man. It wasn't that. It was just that when you have been molested or when you've been abused by narcissists or whoever in your family or growing up you literally become that parent or that that man or that woman that you didn't have so i didn't have that protector so literally i became a masculine ver uh, 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 uh. let me try to explain this i literally became the the parent that I wanted for myself. You get what I'm trying to say? So me exuding my masculinity um was me being protective of myself because I didn't have that. I didn't have that with my biological father. I didn't have that with my stepfather who violated me. You know, my dad who basically abandoned me and didn't want to love me because my mom didn't want to be with him. I didn't have that in my my uncles. They were on drugs. They were doing their thing. So I didn't have that guidance. And I damn sure didn't get it from my brother. My brother who hated our mother. And I looked like our mother. So it's almost like naturally he hated me. So here I was being rejected by the men that I loved the most. And I literally became that masculine energy that I never had in them. You get it? And a lot of you are doing that. You literally became like the parent that you never had. You literally became the man or woman you didn't have. Okay? And it's almost like, I don't know if y'all study other illnesses, other mental illnesses, but the people who have the multiple personalities... Those multiple personalities are usually um, from, it's caused from a trauma that they had. So these personalities are literally trying to protect that moment or that child or whatever situation that happened. It's very deep. Look into it. So it's almost like that. Not that I have multiple personalities, 
but it's almost like emotionally it is it is a band-aid get it it's a band-aid it's a defense mechanism that we do so a lot of you literally cut off your feminine energy so this is why you can't attract an alpha male or a man that you want to keep because technically to them you're coming off like a man he a uh, a grown man a real man who's in his masculinity and who knows who he is and who's confident he's not about to fight with no woman he's not about to argue with no woman okay and that's what i used to do you know, I would date guys and everything became an argument. Everything was defensive. You're not going to tell me what to do. I'm going to tell you what to do. So his masculine and my masculinity energy was always arguing, always fighting, you know. And when I was about 21, I would say that's one of the greatest loves I ever had. And... I lost him because of that. All I wanted to do was argue. I never wanted to listen to him, even if he was right. Any type of suggestion. I couldn't take um, criticism back then, you know. And, and he was really, really, really good to me. But I could not receive that love. So a lot of you are going to F up. You are going to lose the love of your lives because you haven't healed that portion of you. So you sit in there and you're fighting. So a lot of times when they call these women ghetto or hood, it's not that they're just ghetto or hood. It's just that they're stuck in their masculine energy. A lot of times, even how you grow up in the environment, meaning you didn't have much money, you didn't have much food. You know, so your mom, she, you know, your dad abandoned you. If you're from, like, the hood or the ghetto, wherever you want to call it, and you grew up where you weren't privileged, and your mother had to survive and raise all her five kids or raise how many other children your mother had, what happened was she, it's like, it's a psychological thing where this happens a lot in the black community where that that single mother she has to, in her mind she feels she has to play the father and the mother figure so what happens is she 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 chimes into this bitter side and, or her masculine side where she's trying to raise her sons or she's trying to raise her daughters not knowing she can never be a man she can never tap into the energy that a natural born man can and i'm sorry y'all can Un unsubscribe to me or whatever the case is I don't even care if you're gay and you adopt children so it's you know you and your husband or you and your wife or whatever the case is your child needs masculine and feminine energy needs um, people to look up to a child needs a man and a woman yes you can provide for them yes you can love them but when you are a natural born woman a natural born man you'll never be able to give them or if you change your sex your sex gender whatever the hell how, how you say it you'll never be able to give them what a man could give them or what a woman could give them a child a person needs both I mean, hey, even when you look at gay relationships, you naturally see someone who's more feminine and who's more masculine. Why? Because that's a balance. You need that. So a lot of time when you're stuck in that trauma, you're stuck in survival mode, you end up being, you have too much masculinity and your femininity goes in the closet. And you're like, dang, I'm beautiful, I'm smart, you know, I'm educated, I have everything going for myself, but I can't keep a man. Okay, so this has been my struggle. When people ask me, why are you single? I couldn't say to them because I'm stuck in my masculinity. That's basically what it is. That's what it is. Now that I've healed a lot and I'm much softer, I am more feminine than I've ever been in my entire life. Now I'm attracting and keeping around <laughs> men that are masculine, who are alpha. The last guy I dated, he's extremely alpha. He's actually a martial arts teacher. You know, I never had to touch a door. I never had to pay a bill. He treated me like the queen that I am. Um, 
and he's extremely alpha and with him I was able to rest my masculinity I never had to show him my masculine side so that's a beautiful thing you know so I'm noticing now you know now that I'm going back on a dating scene I'm noticing that also I'm attracting other men who are in their masculinity and you know I like that that's beautiful but that only happens when you acknowledge this about yourself and you start to do more things that can heal you and now there's some men I'm not a man so I really can't talk to you fellas the way I can talk to the ladies but men too a lot of times you cut off your masculinity and you come off feminine yes there's a lot of men and they be like oh he gay no you're not gay you know or nerdy he's nerdy it's not that you did not tap into your masculinity you you have too you're unbalanced you have too much feminine energy because you grew up around you know uh an abusive narcissistic mom or you know you were abused to where you don't trust women and you 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 checked out too spiritually and emotionally it happens to men too okay um how did I begin? Sorry if you, sound, if you hear any sound in the background. I live in New York City. My neighbors is playing music. It's sirens. So I apologize about that. Um, How did I begin? I had to nurture. There's even moments where I have to say to myself, you know, I picture myself like a little girl. I look at pictures of myself and I'm like, you're safe now. I literally had to look at pictures of myself and say, my birth name is Angelique. Angelique, you're safe now. No one's going to hurt you. You literally have to talk to your inner child. You're safe now. No one's going to hurt you. No one's here to harm you. Heal, forgive, it's time to move on. Even if you have to feed your inner child through games, going to the park, do whatever you need to do. Things that you normally didn't do when you were a kid, do whatever you need to do to feed that. Go to therapy. Book with me. Whatever works. Um, you can... Well, for me, I started to do more feminine things. You know, before I used to just take control and this, this, and that. Nope. Because that is a masculine thing. It is masculine to take control. Because I don't care what anyone says. I believe that the creator that created us did give us certain roles on earth. Okay? Most women, if something didn't happen or she doesn't have a mental illness, her desire is to nurture. Even if she can't have children, she'll always, not always, but most of the time she would feel you know, even if she doesn't end up having children, she wants to nurture. Okay, you give a woman a bag of rice and a bone, she'll make a big old meal. Okay, this is in our DNA. This is in our nature to make things better. Okay, to want to see growth. The woman is the gardener. Okay, she's the gardener. She will build anything. Okay, um... You put you put a seed in a woman, and what happens? She she grows a baby, <laughs> okay. But naturally, even if the man's the nerdiest, it is in his nature to want to protect. This is why it bothers him if he's nerdy and he's scrawny. He can't fight, right? Um, the guy I just went on a date with. I said to him, I said, "Was you a nerd when you were a kid?" He's like, "How did you know that?" I can still see the nerdiness in him, even though he has all these muscles now and he's more confident now. I can still see a little bit of nerd in him. You know, we're going to have that stain, you know, and there's times where I have to literally force myself to not jump into action and be a protector or to be the provider. I was so stuck in that masculinity. So I literally stopped doing <laughs> I had to stop doing. I didn't become the planner like that anymore. I literally have to, even my friends, I have to cut them off. They, I have female friends who, who, I've had females become attracted to me because of my masculinity. Because they felt like, oh my gosh, she's, she's, she has it all together. She's always planning. I feel safe with Angie. 
you know and i've had female friends become attracted to me because of that energy that energy is very powerful you know i, I walk in a room they're like oh you got that boss bitch energy oh i like that you know this is why you see movies where the boss woman she's a bitch you know she's she's masculine yeah, she might be wearing a power suit or mini skirt, but they still look at her and they feel like she doesn't need a man. Why? Because a woman has to tap into that masculine energy in order to lead the crowd. And you need to have a balance. So you need to figure out, how can I be a boss bitch at work? How can I be um, a leader? But then when I'm home with my man, I'm a lady. Okay, you need to know when to to cut that off. So I'm still practicing that where now I'm not going to step up and lead all the time. Nope. I'm going to let you be the planner. I'm going to let you do this. I'm going to let you do that. You're going to open my car door. I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that bill. It is what it is. Yeah, I'll cook. I'll clean. I'll nurture you. There's certain things. I'll be your helpmate, but I'm I'm going to let you lead. Listen, some people, that doesn't work for them. But this is the things that I had to do in order to heal and to get that heaviness of masculinity off of me due from trauma and narcissistic abuse. Um, hopefully, this advice works for you. Um, you know, uh, get into even doing feminine things, okay? Uh, I got in. I got into hair more. I am a hairstylist, but I got into hair more on myself. I got into luxury items. I got into go get going to get a massage. You know, going just little things. Get a manicure. Get a pedicure. Do feminine things that is going to feed your inner little girl. Okay, if your boy do masculine things, that's going to feed that masculinity in you. Um, do competitive things if you're a man, you know, just do things that is going to nurture your feminine energy that's going to make you want to, <sighs> okay, a lot of times women feel they can't, they can't trust you is because when they're with you, they end up having more masculine energy than you. That masculine energy makes you feel like if we're walking down a dark alley, I can trust you that you're going to fight with me or you're going to fight for me. Okay? Um, so, yeah, there's sometimes, you know, a lot of beta men, they have a lot more feminine energy than they do masculine energy. And that works sometimes. So, sometimes you may not even have to change it. Maybe you are a man who has more feminine energy and you prefer to be with a woman who's more like myself <laughs> who's a leader but for me if you are if you consider yourself to be an alpha woman stop calling yourself alpha first of all don't do that if you want to change stop addressing yourself as an alpha woman just stop it okay um heal that in a little girl do feminine things to, to nurture and to feed and to change your mindset into being feminine. And once you do that, your aura, your energy is going to attract a man that you want. If you okay with your energy, then you're good. Maybe you are an alpha woman and you, pre you prefer a beta male. But for me, <laughs> I'm not attracted to beta men. I'm attracted to alpha men. I can't be an alpha trying to go after alpha. Some people, they make it work. But I feel like that's not balanced. You know what I'm saying? You need somebody who's a little bit more delicate. And then you need somebody who's a little bit more stern. Because I feel like people um, work better like that. And they learn more from each other. Um, but yeah, I think that covers it. And, you know, I think a lot of you are struggling when it comes to dating. And I'm still struggling too out here. So you're not alone. But I'm noticing ever since I am nurturing my inner child, I'm attracting um, alpha men and better quality men where I don't have to always take the lead anymore. I could just sit back and be nurtured and pampered and then I can love them and nurture them in other ways that they may need as well. 
all right that's it for today i will be making more videos soon thank you for bearing with me guys and good luck on nurturing your masculine side and nurturing your feminine side take care peace and blessings